Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, I've had two questions in my mind is, number one, when this crab died, why wasn't it eaten by another creature, like another crab, a fish, or, you know, anything else really? Because we know that, you know, the ocean's full of creatures, and crabs do eat other crabs. And then secondly, why did a rock form around it? A really hard rock. Let's go see if we can figure it out. And here's my dramatic reenactment of the crab's last moments <laughs> before underwater landslide hits them. I was trying to recreate a turbidity current. Didn't quite get it. I don't think my tank's big enough. <laughs> you can see top left there, I've got some sediment piled up and I just poured a whole bunch of water on it to kind of simulate what a landslide would kind of look underwater. Obviously just many, many, many tons more sediment. But if you look towards the right there, it's, it kind of starts creating a bit of a current, I think. Sediment which makes it a lot heavier than the surrounding water. And it can go many, many kilometers from the source of the event. Here's kind of what I was trying to recreate. And this is a turbidity current in a lab setting. And you can see how far it actually travels and it even travels uphill and quite wide as well and this is the kind of event that could have buried our crabs under a whole bunch of sediment meaning they couldn't extract themselves or get eaten by other creatures and these turbidity currents can be caused by volcanoes earthquakes tsunamis and probably a whole bunch of other natural events now our crab's covered in mud, so I've taken the mud away so we can see what's going on with it underneath the mud. And the first thing that starts happening is it starts decomposing. So you see that see-through black um, sphere that's coming out of the crab there. That's the fatty acids from that decomposition process. And that's going to be our source of carbon for the next reaction. Next up, the calcium from the seawater comes in and starts reacting with those fatty acids and this is going to form calcium carbonate which is going to act as our cement remember it's still covered in mud and the mud is made up of little grains of um, well sediment and sand um, with water in between them and the calcium carbonate is actually going to replace the water and form a really really tough natural kind of cement um, which is probably why a lot of people think that the crabs have been cemented it is like a natural form of cement. Thanks so much for joining me everyone. Um, not on that fossil hunt or fossil prep, but just on a little bit of figuring things out. I hope you enjoyed that change of pace. I'll see you on the next hunt. Stay safe out there.